how to calculate short circuit capacity of cables i am electrical engineer to learn about this please don't skip this video till its end and here this calculation is only for such a circuit which is operated by the circuit breaker not by fuse because for this calculation short circuit tripping time of the circuit breaker is needed on air circuit breaker and also in mccb we can see the short circuit pickup setting and the tripping time is generally between 20 millisecond and 600 millisecond the equation for the short circuit current for the cables is ak by root t a means area of the cable k is a constant time is the tripping time of the circuit breaker during the short circuit so here this short circuit is directly proportional to area of the cable okay it means when area increases short circuit also increases but inversely proportional to tripping time it means when the tripping time decreases the short circuit capacity of the cable increases and when we calculate the short circuit capacity of the cable on such a circuit which is controlled by an mcb then we know that for an mcb there are b c d z k curves are present okay but whatever the curves of an mcb the minimum tripping time during the short circuit fault is 40 milliseconds and here i am taking an example of 240 mm square xlpe copper cable and when t is equal to 20 millisecond here for the constant k for the copper cable if xlpe insulated it is 143 k is equal to 143 20 millisecond means 0.02 root of 0.02 so the answer is this much ampere so 242.7 kilo amps from this you can understand that when time increases the short circuit current decreases when huge short circuit appears on a system then our circuit breaker will trip instantaneously without any time delay that means in zero second but i recommend you to always take 100 millisecond that means 0.1 second for this calculation it is because even though we know that our circuit breaker will trip instantaneously without any time delay for more safety we need to consider some delay that means if any reason if a circuit breaker cannot trip instantaneously then at that time also our cable can handle the huge short circuit right so if we consider some delay then our short circuit capacity of the cable decreases right and we need to compare that short circuit capacity of the cable with the system short circuit that is going to happen when a short circuit appears on the system see here when you take a minimum tripping time the short circuit capacity is 242 kilo amps but when you take a 100 millisecond it's reduced to 108 kilo amps but when you take this 100 millisecond and you got this one and at this time if this short circuit capacity of the cable is greater than system short circuit capacity then you can guarantee that if any huge short circuit appears on the system then your cable can handle that short circuit and your system will be safe if you think you have got any deep information through this video please like this video and if you want to get more videos with lot of information like this please consider to subscribe my youtube channel thanks for watching